Welcome back to another video guys. We're here at the Tour Custom Cycle Shop. We're gonna be doing a little upgrade. We got these awesome brand new PSR shorty fully adjustable levers for the bike. Um, you guys know me from my previous uh, Low Rider S. I had shorty levers on it. I love shorty levers, huge difference. And most of all, these are adjustable. So they look really nice. They serve several purposes. Um, and it's a nice design. Uh, PSR, like I was saying, they're, they're pretty known. They used to do a lot of stuff for sport bikes, but they're like heavy getting into the whole V-twin uh, scenery right now. What do you think about the PSR short lovers? No, I think they're great. I mean, uh, <clears throat> construction of them, everything. It's quality materials. Made in America. Made in America. 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 So I'm gonna just show you guys real quick how to change out your levers. So for those of you guys who are wondering how am I gonna change my own little levers, I'm gonna show you right now. The Harley adjuster, auto adjuster that stays in there for like the first month you have the bike and then we take them out and put the real ones in. <laughs> that clips in, pops right, right out. out. Collapse, lock it back in. That'll give us our play up here. And what are you snipping out of there? So we are going to remove the snap ring, the bottom of the lever, snap ring, that pops right up, pin comes out, and I gotta say before anyone comes down in the comments that says, wow this guy can even change his own levers, I've changed my own levers before, there's videos of it, but I have a pro here and this is what he loves to do. He does what he does and I do what I do. Okay, yep. so the stock pin, uh, most of these come with uh, a bushing so that it fits nicely. Perfect. So the plastic bushing goes in the lever and then that pin then goes in there. Perfect. Without the bushing, it's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. Ah, you know how that feels like. I do. Plastic locking piece, this is stock. It's in there. And make sure that the bushing doesn't fall out. That's a okay. We're in. Wow, that was so easy. Boom! Oh, that looks so much better. Yeah, it does. Can you uh, hold the the stock one next to it, just so everybody can see the difference? Yeah, that was like shit. Yeah. Yeah, I love that man. That looks nice. Snap ring back in. Boom. Done. Now I gotta readjust the clutch. This will come out where it's supposed to be, but usually I, I give it a little more because when you test the cable here, that's way too loose. Who got a nickel? Nobody carries change. Come on, bro. Who got a nickel? All right, well, I don't have a nickel. What's as thick as a nickel? Nothing. Every coin is thinner. See this space here? Yeah. They say that you should have a nickel's worth when you straighten the cable out and put a little pressure on it. So you can see the auto adjuster didn't fully pull back to where we want it to. So what I usually do is I'll just pop this out again and I'll put just a little bit of, little bit of pull on the cable and pop it back in. Yeah, that's about a nickel's worth. Nice. Okay. We can show everybody how they're able to adjust the, uh, the lever. Yeah, so you roll it forward. There's an arrow on the lever to tell you what position you're in. So there's six, five, four, and jump all the way down to one, and that's closest to here. Six will bring you all the way out to there. You probably want to be somewhere in the middle. Yeah, so I'll put you at four. All right, so right after we install these, I'm gonna be taking them out for a ride, give you guys some first impressions, letting you know how they feel, how do I like them, um, but they, they really, they feel great, man. They really do. Oh yeah. It's, it's like, oh, even, what, you say you put it at three or four? At, at four? four. I like that. So to get access to this one, they, they need to loosen up. You just up. have to loosen up the perch for this okay. one. Now, very important. See this little, can you see the white button in there? Yeah. Make sure that this is in front of the, the button at your brake light switch. People break them all the time. If you're following behind someone on their bike and their brake light's flickering, mm. it's because they've broken the brake light switch. Gotcha. So when you get this in, just make sure it's in front of it. 
Now, pop the pin back in. All right, so what I did before was I put a little piece of tape on your handlebar so I knew where you were lined up before. So smart. I tighten these down because they weren't before. That gives it a positioning. So what's it at? If we put it out to four. When it's in more, you get more pull. It's gonna make it. It's gonna make it more sensitive. It's uh, it's nice. I like it. Such a nice design too. It yeah. looks. They, they look. They look really good. Yeah. Very minimalistic. Design's great. They feel great. Good product stuff. Awesome. Me personally, on my bikes, I like I like shorty levers, but I also like having this here. So you so, don't, don't yeah. slide the levers. I usually just use these two fingers and. Me then, too. And uh, it's nice you don't slide off. Very nice. Sweet. Well, guys, if you are around the area, you want to get some stuff done to your bike, hit up Mike. Stop by Tour Custom Cycle Shop and uh, make sure to set you up right. Producer Ryan. Oh yeah, this cable is really adjusted perfectly now. I felt like before, the way it was stock, I had to let go too much of, uh, of the clutch in order for it to pick up. Um, but it's like right there right now. I like it. The shorty levers, oh, they feel great, man. I am so happy. I'm, I'm the type of rider that I'm used to just pulling my, my levers with two fingers. I'm not going to put my whole hand over it. Uh, two fingers, that's all I need, boom right there um and it's at a point right there where it's like easy access i felt like the stock ones were like further out for me uh these are a bit closer once again they're fully adjustable so that's always a plus and they look so good man i was just looking at it right now before i left the shop and i'm like damn they look so good on it oh yeah PSR levers. They actually have these other pairs that um, they're not shorties. They're a bit longer and they're two-toned. They look really, really nice. I, I really wanted those at first, um, but I'm just, I, I'm more of a, of a shorty lever type of dude. But those are really nice for anyone that wants to add like a, an accent and also keep it black at the same time because it's black and red or black and blue, black and gold, whatever it is. But these are really nice, man. Way better than the shorty levers I had on my uh, on my low rider before. Way better. Well, Pierce our levers. I highly, highly suggest. I'm gonna be linking the link down below for any of you guys that are interested in buying these, putting them on your bike. They look super nice. They feel great. And most of all, made in America. Made in America stuff are always a plus, man. Always a plus. Anyways, drop your thoughts and your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about these levers. Do you like them? Do you don't? Will you be looking at these? I am gonna keep enjoying my day. I hope you do yours. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.